analysis of Vanguard now and in the past. They have a history of voting for some pro-abortion resolutions, for example. Um, and they've been voting against um, resolutions that have to do with religious freedom that have come from more our side of the aisle. So, you know, I'm not real. Personally, I wouldn't be happy with the way, if I were a Vanguard customer, I wouldn't really be happy with the way they were voting with my dollar and lobbying with my dollar. So to me, that would be more concerned. But these class action lawsuits, to the degree that they come, aren't going to shut the lights out. You're not going to end up with your mutual fund going bankrupt and you holding the bag. That's not really an investor risk, um, as far as I can tell. These are well finance companies. They can well afford to pay a fine if they have to with this stuff. I'd be more concerned about if you don't like ESG policies. I'd be more concerned about them pursuing those ESG policies with your money. Yes. Well said, Jerry. Boy, we covered a lot of ground today. Really appreciate your insights as always. God bless you, my friend. Have a great weekend. God bless you. All right, that's Jerry Boyer, president of Boyer Research. He's our resident economist and just finishing where he landed today. You have the opportunity to allow your values to be expressed as you deploy capital through faith-based investments and avoiding companies who are perhaps lobbying for issues that are unrelated to the primary business and conflict with your values. So being educated uh, is really the key. Donna in South Carolina, I know you've been patiently waiting. I'm going to ask Robert Youngblood to get your phone number and let's see if we can get you on first on Monday because I want to help you tackle that question about your TSP plan and where you should be invested. Thanks for your patience today and we'll get you on real, real soon. Folks, thanks for being along with us today. I couldn't do this without my team, Robert Sutherland, Devin Patrick, and Robert Youngblood. On behalf of them and everybody else that makes this program happen, have a great weekend. Come back and join us next week for Faith and Finance on American Family Radio. Bye-bye. The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast may not necessarily reflect those of the American Family Association or American Family Radio. 90.5 KTXG Greenville, Dallas. To the party. Awesome. Not really. I went to try it on, but Emma, there was a man in there. A man? I told customer service, but they said, it's our policy. What? Target allows men into women's restrooms and changing areas. The American Family Association is calling for a boycott of Target until they reverse this misguided policy. Sign the pledge at AFA.net. This is American Family Radio, a listener-supported ministry of the American Family Association.
and an assistant to keep a key military command in Colorado. Chad Groening has more. President Joe Biden has decided to keep U.S. Space Command headquarters in Colorado, overturning a decision by the Trump administration to move it to Alabama. Colorado lawmakers praised it, and Alabama officials slammed the move as purely political. The location debate became entangled in the ongoing battle between Alabama Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville and the Defense Department over the move to provide taxpayer-funded abortions for military personnel. Tuberville opposed the policy, blocking hundreds of military promotions in protest. Gordon Klingenschmidt spent 11 years as a Minuteman missile weapons officer in the Air Force. One of his assignments was with Space Command. As a pro-life Christian, I fully support U.S. Senator Tuberville from Alabama, who has been holding the Biden administration accountable for their lawlessness concerning diversion of military funds to pay for abortion travel. And that's illegal. And Senator Tuberville has been a hero to the movement for defending not just the rights of unborn children to be born, but also defending the rule of law. And Klingenschmidt takes that position even though he has been a longtime resident and former state legislator from Colorado. Of course, Colorado has an openly gay pro-abortion governor, two openly pro-abortion U.S. senators, and this was clearly, in my opinion, pure political retribution against Tuberville, who was a hero for holding up the confirmations until the Biden administration obeys the law and stops paying for child killing with our tax dollars. I'm Chad Groening. And finally, Florida has put a double murderer to death. James Philip Barnes was serving life in prison for the murder of his wife when, in 2005, he wrote to Florida state prosecutors and confessed to the murder of Patricia Miller 17 years earlier. The nurse, he said he raped and then beat to death with a hammer. At trial, Barnes represented himself, pled guilty, and accepted the death penalty. That sentence was carried out last evening. Barnes remained silent when he was asked if he had any last words. He closed his eyes as the lethal injection began and was pronounced dead 10 minutes later. Jack Callahan, Fox News. American Family News is online at AFN.net and download the AFN mobile app from Thomas Kiki. God has led Bishop E.W. Jackson to leave AFR and run for president. Our loss could be a blessing to the nation, but it leaves a hole in our programming. Well, here's our answer. He comes from the Emerald City. He's not a wizard, but some might call him a wiz. He brings a biblical perspective to things we're seeing in the world. He's a follower of Jesus and a leader among men. Coming soon, it's a disciple's view with Todd Herman. Weekdays at noon central on American Family Radio. This is Trivia Friday. The number to call with your question or your answer to a question is 888-589-8840. Sean, we want to ask you answer a new question. And, and can we insult you in any other way, Sean, at this point, uh, <laughs> as we get started? I wasn't insulting Sean. <laughs> That's Just right. where he lives. Right. Did you yeah. say twerking? Oh, it's very twippy. <laughs> Folks in the van thought they just hit a bump. <laughs> the radio just sort of had a little hiccup. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Trivia Friday on American Family Radio. Thanks for listening to AFR. Tim Wildman here with my fellow professors at this fine learning institution. Ed Battagliano, good morning, Ed. Good morning, Tim. Brother Bert Harper. Good morning. It's good to be with you guys. All right, so, Bert, what's today? Today is Trivia Friday. Uh, I'm talking about morning. the actual day. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> August, <laughs> 4th. August 4th. Yes, it is. August 4th. Okay, is August 4th. Hey, there's some kids already started to school, man. I'm telling you oh, what. They start early these days. You know, when I was growing up, because this was in New England, we started... After Labor Day, every year. Yeah. We never started. Is office. it because we had less to learn? <laughs> or we learned faster? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know either. Well, this is uh, I'm a few years behind you and Bert. Are you heard about uh, he, I'm, I'm ahead of him. I'm okay. ahead of all you guys. I'm just a little younger. I'm 60 years old, so but I, we we started school at least my elementary years after Labor Day. I think they oh, were yeah, I think they bumped it up, you know, to late August, but not anything like now. Good grief. No. They, they want to save energy, and they go to school at the hottest time of the year. Uh, I mean, I, anyway. Well, we, we, we 
didn't have air conditioning in our classes. Oh, we didn't either. Yeah, we didn't. Now, I will say this. A part of the reason may be because they do get more time off. That's true. Because when I was going to school, you got Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving. That was it. You didn't get all week off. And we had no fall break. Uh, we, I want to say we did have a spring break, but we went to, we went to class. We went to school into June. Kids today, they got it made. Oh. I've been waiting to sit in for so long. <laughs> uh, you don't have it like we had it. We, Man, went to, we went to school in June, both ways, <laughs> uphill. Barefooted. <laughs> All right, Trivia Friday it is on American Family Radio. We're going to ask three, qu- three questions each, and then we're going to ask you to call in and answer and or ask. We prefer that you do both. Uh, the rule we have right now is that if you've waited um, eight weeks between calls, you're welcome to call. Otherwise, I don't know what otherwise. I don't, have, I don't know why I said that. Here's the phone number, 888-589-8840. That's the call to be on the radio with us. So if you call that number, Cindy's going to answer the phone. She's going to put you through, and you got your, your one moment to shine. Or, or not. Or, or, not. or embarrass your family. Falling stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll, right. it'll be all on you. 888-589-8840 is our phone number. Uh, we do have a special uh, question. Mystery question. A mystery question that if answered no, correctly, you hear all. the sound. Summer, I good night, yes, blood and cowbell shall ring. And all the world will know you've won yourself an AFR Stainless steel travel mug. Look at that, Bert. It's one of our uh, listeners. It is round. <laughs> stainless steel. Stainless steel. Hot or cold. Either one, I hear. Uh, I just use cold drinks. I don't do hot drinks. Okay. I don't even do coffee or hot chocolate, man. I don't, okay. I don't drink coffee. Yeah. But you're saying the stainless steel travel mug. It's got an AFR on it, too. Yeah. We, we'll, we'll keep your drink cold or hot. Either way. Now, we have, did have a listener a couple of weeks ago. He was a truck driver. He said... It's really half as tall as it should be <laughs> because he has to keep getting refilling it. Right. Uh, and he did tell us we should make it larger, but we well, got a bunch of these to go. To that's the reason it keeps it hotter longer because it's not as much to keep hot. Right. I mean, come on. <laughs> and his truck <laughs> was and, and, the, and the travel mug he won got, quote, lost in the mail. Uh, because uh, he It's on its way. <laughs> no, it, it's a nice, handy a stainless steel. I call it a travel mug. Other people call it a tumbler. Tumbler. So uh, that will you'll win that if you answer the mystery question correctly. And one other rule, one other ground rule is what, Ed? Well, you've got to be 11 years old or older yeah. to uh, participate on the show. All right. So if you're nine, get your older brother or sister. <laughs> right. And then just count the days until you are old enough to be on with us here on the show. Get, get your trivia driver's license. So How old is two old guys have got determined that? No, we, we never had. Let them never had. Okay. okay, we let them go. Okay. As yes. long as they... <laughs> anyway. All right, Trivia Friday it is. Anything else we need to say, fellas? No. By the way, Happy J.J. Friday Jasper Friday. did get back from his uh, Great American Road Trip with his family. and They He's recovering now. now. Yes, they got yeah. back safe and sound. It was like a 10-day trip that they took up the East Coast so. all the way to Maine, yeah. Niagara Falls from Mississippi. Uh, and back home, so they're back home safely. So he'll tell us all about it, I'm sure, next week. My wife and I got four grandsons camping. That's that's something, you know, four When did y'all do that? Yeah, we did it last week. We were off last week as well. Why did you do that, Bert? Man, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm uh, you, you know what Jan says? <laughs> they're like their granddaddy. I mean, uh, hi, hyper. Uh, y'all yeah, know how yeah. Oh, yeah. so Jan <laughs> must have really enjoyed that. <laughs> Uh, you have to tell about it. Five bird harpers yeah. camping in a tent. <laughs> hey, it wasn't a tent. Hey, I love my grandchildren, too, but uh, I'm going to take them to their house. <laughs> when the day's done. Hey, man, brother. Uh, I don't want them to be separated from their parents. Oh, okay. you know, I yeah. really have it's a heart. Traumatic. It's traumatic. Yeah, it is. I mean, you don't want to put any trauma on them. And I don't uh, want any trauma. Frankly. <laughs> 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 You know, when I do exploring the word, people call, how are you doing? I'm usually awesome, great. You know, I, yeah. usually I'm, yesterday it says worn out. <laughs> uh, 
or in some cases, slap worn out. Slap worn out. You bet. All right, uh, Ed, go ahead with your All right. questions. Here are my three questions. I do want to say, although my granddaughter is on vacation, but she probably will listen to the podcast on the way home, I'm using two of her questions that my granddaughter gave me. First question, what color is spider's blood? What color is spider's blood? I, no. I, I, Go ahead. That's a unique question, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of gross, but when I stomp well, on them, I don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second question, a Bible question. Uh, in the 10 plagues visited by God upon Egypt in the book of Exodus, what number was the plague of locusts? Number, in other words, was it first? Was it 10th? What, what number? The plague so your of first locusts. two questions have to do with uh, blood. <laughs> and, and the second one with, with bugs. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> and the uh, third question is also a Bible question. Moses was the third child in his family. Who was older, his sister Miriam or his brother Aaron? Great question. Who was older than Moses uh, in terms of his two older siblings? Who was older, his sister Miriam or his brother Aaron? All right. Kurt. Okay. I'm sticking with an Andrew Griffith show question. And it's shocked. <laughs> what were the five musical instruments that the Darling family played. The five Love the musical instruments that the Darling family played. Mm. And my Bible question, got to listen carefully. What are the real names of the men in the Bible story when Lefty let Fatty have it? When okay. what? When Lefty yep. let Fatty have oh, it. Oh, okay. Got to think it through. Now. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the body shaming. <laughs> I, I thought of that, uh, and I yeah. said, "It's trivia Friday, so I can do it." Uh, that, yeah. It's just we just really go by what the yeah. Bible says. Yeah. Amen. Right. Okay, baseball question. Love baseball. Who was the first major league player to have his number retired? Who was the first major league player to have his number retired? All right. Here are my three, my three questions. Um, Thought up by none other than me. <laughs> I did not. I did not uh, turn to the uh, trivia uh, card box. Okay, I just uh, like you, Ed, and, yeah. and yeah, I gave some thought to this. All right, now I want the. I, I have four. Uh, okay, I'll just ask the question, and I'll tell you what, what I'm looking for. I want uh, the the inventions in medical science that changed the world forever. Oh, I want three of the four. Inventions, and this is kind of subjective, I guess, but uh, this was kind of generally what I researched and found. Three of the top four um, uh, inventions in medical science that changed the world forever. Okay? Okay. And I'm really looking for not medicine. Okay, I'll, I'll exclude that. Like not drugs. Not medicine. chemically uh, founded. I'm talking about basically products uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying not not vitamins not not vaccines not antibiotic antibiotics I'm talking about equipment oh okay does that make sense yeah okay I want three of the top four number two question which state produces the most cheese <laughs> by far <laughs> which state produces the most cheese? Cheesiest. 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 Uh, and number three, according, I'm stuck on this medical journal stuff. But, uh, uh, but 60 years old, you could have been, been a doctor easily. <laughs> so this well, is part of your past. Except for my, you know, sophomore chemistry class. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have been there. I'd have been operating on somebody. <laughs> but, but somehow they... They didn't want any safe students. For, for, for. <laughs> they didn't want anybody who flung science, right? Anybody had passed on the curve in chemistry. Uh, all right, so number three question. According to medical news today, what are the three most healthful vegetables? Healthful? Uh, nutritious. Oh, nutritious, okay. Nutritious. Uh, what are the three most nutritious vegetables? Your mom always tell you, eat your vegetables. Yeah. Well, there's a reason for it. Yeah. Okay. According to medical news today, what are the three most nutritious uh, vegetables? All right, let's go. Okay, let's go to Todd in North Carolina. Welcome, Todd. 
was third was the third child in his family who is older his sister Miriam or his brother Aaron Miriam that is correct Miriam was seven years older Aaron was three years older I didn't know that I, I always assumed Aaron was the oldest but I was looking this up and huh Miriam was the older sister so and you're a kind of a Bible sniper Todd so um, I'm not surprised that you got that correctly. <laughs> that is it. That's great, Todd, though, that you know that. Yeah. yeah. Like, Did you know that, that, that Miriam was older? No, I didn't. I, I, I didn't know it until I, I know researched that. Where is it found in the Bible? Where is it found? Yeah, that she's the oldest. Uh, I'm just guessing Exodus. Okay. Have to be. Have to be. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know the years, seven and three. I've yeah. never looked at that. Yeah. I missed it. Anyway. All right. Hey, good work, yeah. Todd. You got a question for us, Todd? Oh, he does. <laughs> yes, I do. I have a Bible question. It's from the Old Testament. Um, of course, we know that Mount Sinai was the mountain that Moses received the law from the Lord on. Um, the question is, what is another name for Mount Sinai? Okay, we're going to talk amongst ourselves here. Uh, is it Mount Horeb? Horeb? Uh, or, I'm not that... Tim, I could ask you. This. I, I don't know why I kind of turned my back uh, and turned towards uh, the mountains in the, in the Old Testament. <laughs> a lot of us. Uh, well, I, I, I go the yeah. word. Hey, I, I don't know for sure. But you know, yeah. you're saying so. He, Todd's asking, what's another name for Mount Sinai? That's exactly otherwise right. known as. Yeah, H O R E B. Yes, that sounds familiar. Uh, well, what is how, it, Todd? How about that, Todd? You are correct. Woo! Wait a minute, Todd. All right. Amen. We, we affirm We agree you. you. Yes, thank we you. I, I feel affirmed. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey, thank you, Todd. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Brother Todd. Uh, Todd, that, that, guy, that breaks a streak for him. Like, he, he always calls in and, and just accidentally gets, wins the, gets the uh, mystery uh, question. Right. Right. Hey, let's go. Going, huh? yeah. I think there's something going on. Todd won it like seven times, right? Oh, no. He's won it like 15 times. <laughs> okay. Where he calls in and... I'm starting to look around the room here <laughs> and wonder who he's in collusion with. Hey, I, I'm the visiting the professor, yeah. so you know. I Because there, there's got to be... Sounds like the Russians. That's one in a 50,000 chance you could do that. <laughs> Sounds like the Russians. <laughs> Russian, Russian, Russian collusion. collusion. It is. Hey, you all ready to go to Kansas? Yeah, we are, Bert. Let's okay. go. Welcome, Mary. Hi. Hi. Where, where are you calling from? Kansas. Yeah, That's where, Tim's question. Yeah. Where, where are you coming from in Kansas? I'm always curious. Carbondale. I haven't booked y'all since January, so I was really glad to hear Todd's voice. I was hadn't heard his voice in a long time. <laughs> So it's nice to be on the show at the same time as Todd. Hey, hey, hey amen. Well, uh, Mary, well, thanks for calling, and uh, we always enjoy uh, having you and Todd on the program. Okay, so you want to ask, answer, or both? Well, I'm going to answer uh, a question if I can, which I don't know many of them, and then ask you guys a question. Okay. But first, I wanted to wish Ed a happy birthday early, and then also Renee at Amico's in Pauline, Kansas, his birthday's today. So if anybody's listening that goes there, tell him happy birthday. Well, uh, thank you so much, Mary. My birthday is August 26th. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah. And folks, I just want to... Yes, thank you. 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 Thank you.
position. I, I, it was on the it was on the floor. It was on the floor in my office. I, I didn't know. I promise it was on the floor. Okay. And the reason I found out is because this dear sister emailed me and she said, "I know you're not the kind of person to never not say thank you. Did you get the gift card?" And I said, "No, ma'am, I did not." So she, I think she sent me a, 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 another one, but uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, folks, uh, uh, just pray over it before you say it. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, all right, Barry. I'm sorry. I kind of got us off track. No, you didn't. Thinking about myself, that, that was shame. That was shame. Happy birthday, Ian. Happy birthday, Ian. No, it wasn't. You were thanking that lady yeah. again. Yes. yes. Being kind to you. Right. I don't really know any answers to any of them. Just be careful. So I'll do the Andy Griffith one. Just kind of guess at the instruments. Okay. What were the five? I gave that musical instruments that the Darling family played. Well, I was thinking of the fiddle, uh, the banjo, the guitar, and they used to play the uh, washboard instrument and. Um, a lot. Okay, well, you got wow. two out of the five, but yeah, there's some of those you named. They are not in it, Mary. Yeah, got to be specific about the Andy Griffith show. I take the Bible and the Andy Griffith show <laughs> right, seriously. Right. I mean, you, you know, in your life, you know, yeah. slide. You're not going to get it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Can't slide on that one. You did great on a curve. Good work. Hey, Mary, yeah, on the curve, you'd have gotten an 80, I guess. Very good. Uh, did you say well, washboard? Tell the audience what two I got right, though, so they'll have two a man time. Well, do you want to do it that way? Okay. Do you, but, do you want to do no, it? No, I, I want to. I will later. I'm going to do like Tim does. Okay. Hold on. He, he holds on to it into the end, and then it gets easy. Okay, well, I tried to help. I tried to help. You did. Okay, good. Very helpful. You. It was not the rug board. I'll tell you that. It was not the rug, rug board. board. Well, they used to play the rug board with their knuckles, and you know, I've seen people do that. How did they go? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. 